Here are the relevant conclusions. What we've done is throw away the irrelevant ones from the previous screen. Isn't it amazing how much was useless for going deeper? This indicates the limitations of the comparative method and event-oriented thinking. Now let's start applying the tool of structured thinking. We start by underlying the concepts that will become nodes in the model. Let's see. Let's underline whole clan status and what else? Bigger statues, leader power, and clan status again. Now moving on down, we've got a little more. We've got claiming and promising and let's see what else. Chief's status. This is how you mine information for nodes if you're building a model. Now in the last paragraph we strike solid gold. Here is the name of a force. It's also the name of a well-known reinforcing loop, a competitive spiral. This becomes our loop name. Let's go ahead and draw the name in right over here where we're going to build our loop. A competitive spiral. It's a reinforcing loop, so we give it this little symbol. Okay. The nodes in the loop can now be abstracted from the underlined candidate words. Notice, for example, right here how leader power depended on clan status. That's the relationship between two nodes, so let's add them first. Clan status and leader power. The, uh, the text has expressed this relationship, so let's draw it in on the model we're building, right here. Now for our next node. Notice right here how clan status depended on their putting up bigger statues and monuments than their rivals. That gives us our next node, bigger and more statues. And let's draw the arrow because bigger and more statues increases clan status. That's the relationship. Now what's next? Let's see. The last paragraph talks about what a chief's status depends on. This implies that leaders are going to have an incentive to maximize clan status so that they can get more power. That insight can be captured in this particular node. That is, there's an incentive of leaders to maximize clan status. So let's draw in the relationship because the more leader power, the more the incentive in the system there is for leaders to increase that power by maximizing clan status. Now we take a big mental leap and take Diamond's conclusions a little further. Look at this second paragraph. What are these, these claims and promises? Well, for one thing, they're false. As far as science has been able to prove, no one can justify their elite status by claiming relationships to the gods because there is no evidence that any gods exist. And if the leader's policies are causing deforestation, like they were in Easter Island, then an endless stream of prosperity and bountiful harvests is a false promise. It's not going to happen. So let's add this node. And of course, let's add this relationship. This incentive to maximize status is going to lead 
to false promises and claims extolling the value of clan competition to build bigger and more statues. Our little competitive spiral loop is almost complete. To close it, that is to complete the loop, we need something to fill in that gap that reflects, see this big gap? That reflects what's happening in the real world. Well, looking over here, there's no more underlined names for clues. So we have to do some original synthesis. This is a political system. Politicians have supporters. The Easter Island politicians were extolling competition between clans. So let's add this crucial node. Com competition supporters. And of course, let's add these final relationships. Okay, the more supporters you have, the bigger and more statues you can build. And the more false promises from the leaders, well, if they work like a charm, then the more supporters you're going to have. Now we have the complete loop. This is the competitive spiral that Diamond spoke of. It is indeed at the heart of why Easter Island and other societies collapsed. But why didn't Diamond draw this loop? Because structural thinking is not a standard human system behavior analysis tool in fields like anthropology, sociology, etc. Until it is, these fields will remain unable to make any substantial contributions to solving the sustainability problem. Now let's take this loop, pop it into a different modeling tool, and see how much further we can take the work of Diamond and others. As we do this, you will gradually see the basic structure of the dueling loops emerge. Because the dueling loops are present in all political systems, including Easter Island.